Jesse, who is expecting, is preparing to relocate to her fianc Mark's house when their car is struck by a truck as they are backing out of the driveway. John Mark is killed and Jesse miscarries as a result. Jesse, who is now in a wheelchair, goes in with her estranged father Leon in Ste.T. Francisville, Louisiana, two months later. She resides in the room where her mother formerly slept. Leon abandoned her to be raised by her aunt after her mother Kate passed away from a brain tumor not long after she was born. Jesse one day discovers a box with for videotapes captured by Kate inside. She greets Jesse by her full name, wishes her a happy 18th birthday, and then performs a death tarot reading that depicts a transition that was taught to her by a friend she met at a nearby church. Jesse claims that a gaunt black-haired woman has been following her ever since she came back into her father's home, proving Kate's warning that she is being followed by an unwanted presence. Jesse also experiences a disturbing dream in which her mother straps her to a bed, and she watches a voodoo ceremony being performed while being choked by blood running into a breathing apparatus. By smashing the first tape and dumping Jesse's wheelchair into the bayou, Leon makes several attempts to stop Jesse from watching the videos. During a physical therapy appointment, Jesse has a terrifying encounter in the shower with the same woman one day. Leon forces Jesse's physical therapist to leave the house after hoisting Jesse onto Kate's previous wheelchair. Leon tries to burn all of the tapes after explaining to Jesse that the Kate on the recordings is not her mother because of the tumors she had, but a paranormal force burns him to death inside the garden shed. Jesse catches up with her high school classmate Preston during Leon's funeral but passes out when she witnesses a man who has been severely burned Von Wilson. She watches the third tape, which was about Leon and Kate going on a date, as well as their Christmas party and the announcement of the latter's pregnancy after Preston has left to care for Jesse. She also watches the fourth tape, which was about the prophesied tarot readings and Kate sobbingly exclaiming, you're dead, before the video abruptly ends. Jesse observes the woman standing behind her in the mirror after watching the tape. After the mirror breaks, Jesse finds a small hidden compartment with the tape inside that she decides not to watch because it wasn't in the box. The following day, Jesse and Preston traverse a nearby bayou that Jesse has been wary of ever since she saw flames and a sparkling light appear there. They also come across voodoo symbols and effects, as well as a grave for Jezebel that was dated on Jesse's birthday and included a baby skeleton which they give to Sheriff Pruitt for DNA testing. After that, Jesse and Preston go to Mrs. Davis' house, the mother of one of their friends and the Lawrence old family cook. While there, Mrs. Davis talks about Moses Harper, the acquaintance from Kate's church who was mentioned in the second recording. The two travel to Moses' voodoo shrine in a collapsed church in the belief that he may be connected to paranormal events, but they are accosted by a group of men who force them to flee. The two go back to Jesse's house, where Preston admits that he is in love with her despite being married. She accepts Preston's offer to let Jesse live with his mother. Preston is struck by the spectral woman and rendered unconscious just as Jesse is about to finish packing. After being abandoned, Jesse performs a ritual to call the woman. Pruitt calls Jesse after the ritual to tell her that the infant was Kate's kid, not Leon's. She plays the blank tape, which shows Kate voodooing a newborn white girl before shooting herself in the head. When Jesse encounters Kate's soul, she understands the reality that her father was trying to conceal from her. The videotapes were made for Jezebel, who was the result of an interracial relationship at the same church as that referenced in the second tape and was the daughter of Kate and Moses. Leon pulled a baby carriage with Kate's now dead body and a porcelain doll inside into the bayou weighting it down with stones to prevent it from resurfacing, while Kate sobs while holding her daughter's now dead body. Leon then drove up to Kate and Moses' church, shot Moses inside, and then started setting it on fire. Moses was left for dead inside the blazing church. As the newborn white child adopted by Leon on the same night to cover up the killings, Jesse learns she is the unwanted presence. Kate and Moses, vowing vengeance, intended to give Jesse Jezebel's spirit. In the bayou, where the biracial soul of Jezebel swims up and grabs her mother's bracelet before resurfacing in the identical white physical form of Jesse, Jesse is forced there by Kate and Moses' spirits. She gives him a kiss and asks him to take her home as Preston leaps in to save her. Pruitt inquires about Miss Laurent and she responds, it's Jezebel. 